So this is my very first Facebook Live broadcast. I just mixed a glaze and I am now going to measure the specific gravity of that glaze. So I thought I would do it live uh, for the group. So if you want to watch how I measure specific gravity, then this is the video for you. I'm going to get started. So I just mixed this glaze. It's just a test glaze that I'm going to use to, um, to test out deflocculants. So I'm going to first measure the specific gravity and then I'm going to split it in half and I'm going to test the effects of Darvan on one half of the glaze and then the effects of sodium silicate on the other half and just notice the difference. Um, so this glaze, I made this recipe specifically because I knew it would need to be deflocculated. Um, so this glaze has 40% EPK in it and often when a glaze has a really high percentage of clay, um, then it will need to be deflocculated because the clay actually absorbs the water and um, it thickens the glaze so it's less fluid uh, than a glaze that might have less clay in it. So. Um, I did not measure the water, so to start out with, um, so what I'm going to do is I have my graduated cylinder here. Um, it goes up to 500 milliliters. You can't really see. Um, the markings aren't very dark, but I can kind of see them. So I'm going to tear my scale so that it's at zero. And it doesn't matter the amount that you weigh because you're just, um, the higher the volume, then the more the glaze is going to weigh. So um, what we're going to do is just uh, pour some glaze in here. And I usually like to get um, a fairly good sample because I feel like it's more accurate when there's um, a larger volume of glaze. And these are in five milliliter increments. So what we have is this weighs 573 grams and then we divide the grams by the milliliters. So we have 365 milliliters so that gives us a specific gravity of 1.5698, so 1.57. Um, I'm going to try to get this to 1.45. So when the specific gravity is higher than the number that you want it to be, then you need to add water. So um, I had a feeling, I was hoping that the specific gravity would be too high because it's much easier to add water than it is to take water out of a glaze. So I'm going to dump this back in here, uh, try to get out as much as I can. And so the amount of water that you add um, just depends on the size of the batch. So I'm not going to add very much water just a little bit here and give it a mix and I always mix with a drill before I measure specific gravity to make sure that it's mixed really well so I'll just give this a mix Again, so I'm going to pour some in here and I'll get it to a little higher than last time because then I'll be able to see the mark. Okay, so we have 
300 and let's see 50 60 370 milliliters 577 grams so I go 577 grams divided by 370 milliliters uh, equals 1.56 so it hasn't really come down very much so I can add a little bit more water and then I just keep doing this um, it would help if I had a good tool to scrape the glaze out of this graduated cylinder. Um, the tool that I have does not work very well, so I just make do, try to get as much out as I can. And actually what I didn't do last time, and I will do this time, is when I add water, I usually pour it in here first, swirl it around, and then I can dump that into there. So I'll do that. And that just helps to get a lot of the glaze out of here. Okay. So that's better. It's much uh, more empty now. And then again, I'm going to mix it with a drill. Just to make sure that it's mixed really well so that our results are accurate and then I'm going to check again so pouring the glaze into here so now we've got 599 grams we've got 400 milliliters so 599 I can tell what this is going to be divided by 400 is a 1.5 so that's really close to where I want it still not quite there I want it to be 1.45 uh, so I'm just going to dump this out and add a little bit more water to here and then I'll dump it into the container And hope that I didn't add too much water, which sometimes happens, which is a bummer. <laughs> uh, and then mix again. Give it a good mix. And we measure okay so like I said before it doesn't matter how much you put in uh, because the more you put in the more it's gonna weigh and it's just about the uh, ratio so we've got 628 grams and 440 milliliters so 628 divided by 440 uh, 1.43 so I added a little more water than I wanted um, so I would just make a note of that and um, let it settle since and possibly remove some water off the top uh, since this is just um, an experiment I'm not too concerned about getting the number exact and I'm just gonna let this sit and um, Tomorrow I'm going to um, do some flocculation and deflocculation tests. So that is how I check specific gravity. Hope that helps somebody. Uh, let me know um, if you have any questions. Okay, hope you all have a good day. Bye.